Hi, welcome to Engineering Made Easy. This is Lalit Vasist. So friends, today we are going to study the control system. We will see its uh, introduction, its uh, definition and a few examples will be given in this lecture to clear the concept. We will uh, deal here with the, uh, what is open loop system and what is closed loop system. Okay. So let's start with the definition of control system. A control system is a mean by which some quantity of mechanism or machine is maintained or changed as desired. It means that in any control system, we either vary or maintain any parameter of interest okay, of any machine or mechanism. So uh, it may be uh, a certain maintaining a constant temperature in a room. It may be maintaining or varying the velocity or speed of a vehicle or uh, it may be uh, maintaining a certain uh, water level in a tank. So we uh, use a feedback system to uh, change the parameters. So uh, to understand it, let's take an example of uh, a driving mechanism of vehicle okay so here we will uh, understand the control system of a driving mechanism of the vehicle okay so let's see it so here you can see uh, that uh, this is the driving system of a vehicle it is a it is an open loop system so what is an open loop system so let's uh, understand it with the the help of this example here I'm giving you an example of a vehicle where uh, someone is uh, pressing the accelerator okay and uh, by pressing the accelerator the speed of the vehicle is changing so here the input is in the form of a force okay this force is applied by the leg muscles and uh, this force is applied on the accelerator of the vehicle so as the force is applied on the accelerator the fuel flow into the engine of the vehicle so uh, we can change the fuel flow into the engine of the vehicle by varying the pressure by our leg muscles on the accelerator of the vehicle okay so by changing the flow of fuel into the engine speed of the vehicle is varied so this is an example of uh, an open loop system because here we are just uh, pressing the accelerator with our leg and uh, are getting some speed in output. But if uh, since there is uh, no control of uh, speed, we do not have any desired uh, speed that we want to achieve. So there is no controlling in the system. And therefore, this system is known as open loop system. So now we will uh, see an example of a closed loop system where we will have some desired uh, velocity that we want to achieve okay using a feedback okay so here is can you see it this is the block diagram of a driving system of a vehicle it is a manual closed loop system okay so how it is a closed loop system we will see this is an example of that uh, previous driving system but here we have a feedback there is a loop so it is a closed loop system so it, here we uh, see that we have uh, a desired speed that we want to achieve and uh, it is driver's eyes and brain and it uses these eyes and brain to achieve certain uh, speed by watching by seeing the output speed in the speedometer so how the things are taking place understand let's understand it first of all uh, the driver wants to achieve a constant speed okay this is set in his mind so he sees he can see the speedometer okay the speedometer of the vehicle to see the current the speed of the vehicle at that moment 
so according to the what he wants to achieve he will exert pressure with his uh, legs on the accelerator and with this input force the accelerator will be pressed and the flow of fuel in the engine will be varied so we can change the rate of uh, uh, fuel flow into the engine so the speed of the engine will vary that speed that current that uh, speed at that moment will be displayed on the speedometer okay so with this uh, he can uh, the driver of the vehicle can uh, watch that uh, speedometer so he can get what speed is at that moment and according to his desired speed he can vary the force by his legs on the accelerator to achieve that speed so here we uh, get the difference of between the desired speed and the speed at the output okay so uh, the this difference of the desired and the speed at the output can be used to control the uh, speed of the vehicle so this is an example of a closed loop system where we are getting the output and are seeing it and are we are varying it as per the desired speed so i think it's clear now this is a general uh, block diagram of a closed loop control system in previous uh, previously we have seen the example of the driving mechanism of a vehicle so here is the general example okay general block diagram how the things take place so what is this this is the controller okay this is the controller elements are here and this is the plant plant means the system that we wanted to change okay that is being controlled and here we have some feedback elements okay and just related uh, to the previous example and here we have some reference input or the we can say the desired speed that was uh, in previous case so some reference or the desired input that we want to uh, achieve and here is the output that we are getting so this output can be changed using the feedback elements and it is fed it to here this error detector and this error detector measures calculates the difference between the reference input and the current output so this difference can be used to control the plant this can be used to control that system so this is the error detector and the signal that we are getting here by the difference of these this reference input and this controlled output is known as the error signal this error signal is the input to this controller elements these controller elements okay so in this way we can change the output of the uh, of the system as per our requirements okay so this is an example of a closed loop control system okay this one more thing this error signal is also known as the actuating signal a c t u a t i n g actuating signal okay this is what this is the block diagram of a closed loop system again but here we are uh, we will see some uh, notations for the transfer functions and the feedback transfer functions okay so these are just the notations here the reference input that we have seen is denoted by rs and this controlled output is denoted by cs okay and uh, this forward path transfer function the elements that we have used in the forward uh, path transfer function are denoted by this gs and uh, this is the feedback path transfer function hs elements are used in this feedback path and uh, this is what this is this signal this output signal is input to this feedback path transfer function and its output is denoted by bs that is a feedback path signal this is the signal obtained from this feedback path and this is 
faded here and here we get the error or the actuating signal the difference between this rs and the bs is known as the error signal so it is represented by es this is again acts as a input to this gs okay so this is uh, uh, the block diagram of a closed loop control systems okay so i hope you got the point of control system here we discussed the open loop and uh, the closed loop systems and uh, how to denote these transfer functions and uh, inputs and outputs hope you like the video friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information, you can visit my blog www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com. Its link is given in the description of this video. You can check it. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.